This is the name Kyle in Descript. So, first let's look at the simplest possible way to connect these letters. K, Y, L, E. Now we've got a lot more options here, but we, when we look at this first version here, it's, it looks pretty good actually, I, in some ways. What I like about it is we've got kind of this joint here that seems to have two, two sections coming out of it. So you can start to angle it for fun, like so. And you can have some fun with that. It, it looks quite interesting, even though it doesn't really have any side chains. Side chains are advanced descript. You can look at that later. So, now how can we shorten this? Is there any way? Our main option here is our Y. The Y is what's called an enclosed space vowel. So is an E. An E is also an enclosed space vowel. You have space to work within the vowel. But the Y, in this case, has letters after it. The E doesn't. The reason this is important is because the letter after the Y can be placed inside of the Y. Now, L actually is almost never drawn like so. We draw L like this inside of something. So, O-L, that's Y-L, this is E-L. Now, in the O-L or the Y-L, you can't touch the edges. All we're doing is we're cutting out the word line. This is not an important part of the L, actually. The dash is what makes the L. The line down the middle is in many letters, the B, the J, the L, the C. It's, it's just for connection purposes and to keep everything into a single string of letters so that we know how to read the word. When you put it inside of something, for example there, it would be L. So, using that principle, let's quickly draw the word Kyle with the L inside of the Y. We can then also go further and then you can keep eating letters. The, an open space vowel can just keep eating letters as long as you like. Kyle. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. We've got some, some interesting options here. I like this Kyle. We could then bring that straight down. Now we can add some style to it. We'll stick with putting them all inside of the Y just because I'm a bit of more of a fan of that and it keeps it more of a closed space. And we're going to try to turn this into a, into a square type character. So let's try this. You know what, I think I can fill a little more space with that on one side. I go like so. And then I can have the Y tail like so. Kyle. Kind of looks mystical. I like the E when you when I, I just happen to come out that way, but you can if you draw the E right, you can make your E's kind of look like eyes. Like human eyes or cat eyes or something, and then you can thicken the line in the middle a little. You can really make that look like an eye if you play with it. That's always fun. Um, what else could you do with this word? Well, there's a whole lot, a whole lot you can do. You could go K, Y, sorry, let's shorten that up a bit, but you can go K, Y, and we could shoot the L off into one side and the E down, and then you can do something like that. That kind of looks like a snowman, maybe. So as you can see, there's a lot of options. Play with it and see which, which way you like.